Um, so hi, my name is Mei Yen. I am an international recruitment officer with the Faculty of Music. Um, so I'm here today to give you a bit of information about your program options for the Faculty of Music, as well as talk a bit about admissions and, uh, and just to get you thinking about the possibility of pursuing a degree in music. Because, you know, I'm sure quite a few of you take piano lessons or voice or guitar, for example, and you've probably been doing that for quite a few years since you were little, right? And, you know, for whatever reason, you get to grade 11, grade 12, and you think, oh, I have to pursue biology or I have to do physics or chemistry when I get to, uh, or say psychology, when you get into university. And I just want you to know that that doesn't have to be the case and that by pursuing a degree in music, you can also go on to a very rewarding and a fulfilling career. So the Faculty of Music at University of Toronto is Canada's largest and most renowned university-based music program. We, um, we have over 600 concerts and events every year, and we currently live in two buildings, and that includes two concert halls, as well as Canada's largest library, largest music library, and we're actually third in North America. Our class sizes are fairly small. Our total undergraduate population is about 600 students, and our incoming first year class is usually about 150. So that, that sort of gives you an idea. Your largest lecture class will be maximum 150 students, but to tell you the truth, most of our classes are between 10 and 20 students. So you're getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with your professors, and in fact, you even get your weekly uh, private lesson. And uh, of course, what better place to study music than in downtown Toronto, right? The heart of the city, you have, uh, or rather we have, the TSO, Toronto Symphony Orchestra, which is one of the best orchestras in North America. Most of our instrumental faculty are, uh, at the Faculty of Music are also members of the TSO. So that's the caliber of the people that you'll be learning from. Um, you have, you know, we have the COC, Canadian Opera, we have ballet, access to Broadway shows, and because we are located in downtown Toronto, all of these things are just a short subway ride away, right? And so you can be in class during the day, hop on the subway, and go catch a great concert at night. And you know what? Most of your faculty members are going to be, in, are going to be performing in those concerts. Um, and as artists, you know, going to see concerts and see great performances is just as important as taking your lessons and practicing. Just an overview of our programs. At the undergraduate level, we have our Bachelor of Music in Composition, Comprehensive Studies, Education, and History and Theory. Um, and then we also have the Bachelor of Music in Performance, and that you can do in either a classical or a jazz stream. And that is a specialization that you apply for directly into your first year. Um, now at the Bachelor of Music, the, the comprehensive and composition and all that, um, you have a few options. You can apply directly into composition for your first year. That is fairly rare. Uh, we usually accept maybe two students a year into the composition straight into first year. More commonly, they will apply for a common first year and then apply for composition after that. Uh, you've got two other options. You can continue in the comprehensive stream or you can uh, start in music education. Uh, after your undergraduate degree, we've got a few options, the Master of Arts as well as the Master of Music, and you can see all of the program options available to you. And then beyond the master's level, our doctoral programs, you can get a PhD or you can get a Doctor of Musical Arts, and that's the more practical, the more performance side of music. In addition to all those degrees, we have our certificates and diplomas. So you can do a three-year artist diploma, a one-year advanced certificate in performance, or a two-year diploma in operatic performance. Today we're going to focus on the undergraduate programs. 
So like I said, two main options. You've got your Bachelor of Music and then your Bachelor of Music in Performance. So composition, common year, or music education. Uh, if you do choose to do the common year, after that first year, we will ask you to choose one of four streams. So you can continue in comprehensive studies, so that's taking a little bit of everything. You can go into history and theory if you want to do more academic work, music-wise. Uh, you can go into composition or music education. In the jazz stream, again, you've got the Bachelor of Music option and then the Bachelor of Music in performance. And within the Bachelor of Music, you would apply to either the comprehensive stream or the music education stream. Um, now, some of you might be wondering, hey, what if I want to um, specialize in music, but I'm also interested in physics, or I also want to pick up um, something in biology, and you're wondering if you can do that. And the answer is yes, it is possible. Um, we have a major and a minor option. The minor option is the most common because most students at the Faculty of Music are choosing to specialize, right? That's why they're going into music. They want to spend most of their time in that faculty. But through, by taking a few courses through the Faculty of Arts and Science, through your electives, you can pick up a minor in something else. It's important to know that whichever program in music you choose, so be it music ed, or performance, or composition, uh, you are getting your weekly private lesson. You're going to be placed in either a vocal or a large instrumental ensemble. And then in your first two years, you're going to be taking general theory and general history courses. In terms of admission requirements, they can be broken down into three different sections. So we've got your academic requirements, music requirements, and then your special requirements. Academically, we're looking at your Ontario Secondary School Diploma or equivalent, and within that it's your top six grade 12 UM courses, including English. For music requirements, we do have a theory prerequisite. So those of you who are taking uh, RCM theory, what we're looking for is level eight theory, um, or it was previously called advanced rudiments. And we also recommend that you have level nine harmony or basic harmony. Um, and if, but if you don't have those theory prerequisites, you would write our uh, faculty of music theory entrance exam. And then, of course, the, there's the audition and the interview, usually 20 to 30 minutes in length. Now, for special requirements, those would be for people applying to composition, people who are applying to the jazz program, or piano performance specifically. So if you're looking at composition, we do require a portfolio of some of the work that you've done. Uh, all jazz applicants need to submit a pre-screening. And then if you're looking to apply for a piano performance, you would need to do a quick study as part of your audition. All right, application process. So if you're looking to apply to the Faculty of Music. First step is, it's sort of twofold. Um, you have to apply on the Ontario University's Application Center, as well as submit a music questionnaire. And those two you can actually do at the same time. You don't have to do one before the other. Um, OUAC, if you are in grade 12, you've probably been on that site or will visit that site soon. The music questionnaire is, uh, that can be found on the Faculty of Music website. And both of those things are due January 13th, but of course we encourage you to apply as soon as possible. Uh, if you are interested in the jazz program, the pre-screening is also due January 13th. Now, on the music questionnaire, uh, you will be asked what your preferred audition dates are. And auditions run February and March, and there will be a whole list of dates that you can choose from. And although we don't, rec um, we don't guarantee that you'll get your first choice, we do try very hard to accommodate that. So auditions in February and March, and then you'll hear from us in April. Um, and then you'll have until June to let us know what you'd like to do. 
terms of scholarships and tuition, everyone who auditions for the Faculty of Music uh, will be automatically considered for entrance scholarships within the Faculty of Music. And then of course there are some centrally awarded U of T scholarships that would require a separate application or supplementary documentation. Tuition for international students, approximately $34,000 per year. And that's also going to include your ancillary and incidental fees. So uh, things like health insurance and using the gym. Careers after graduation. So with the music degree, um, what, what do you think uh, you could go on to do or go on to study? Any ideas? Performing maybe? Or teaching? It's correct. So, a lot of people when you say, oh, what, do you, what can you do with a music degree? People will say, oh, I, I can be a performer, I can maybe have my own chamber group, or maybe I can teach privately or teach in the school system. I could be a composer, perhaps, and those are all true. Those are all career paths that you can follow with a degree in music, but that there is actually so much more that you can do with your music degree. Um, you know, you've, throughout your four years, you've learned how to think analytically, think creatively, and you can apply those skills to, say, the field of medicine. You can apply to med school from music, okay? Um, you could be a radio broadcaster, you could go on and do your MBA, you could go to law school. So really the possibilities are wide open for you with a degree in music, okay? Don't think that just because I have this B muse that I can only be a performer or I can only be a teacher, okay? If you are interested in connecting with us, there are a few ways. We have drop-in tours that happens twice a week. Uh, go onto our website and check it out. It, uh, it's different depending on the academic term because they are run by Faculty of Music students and it all depends on their schedule. Uh, we have, like I said, over 600 concerts and events every year, so you can come check us out that way. You could come to a dress rehearsal. It's absolutely at no cost to you, a dress rehearsal. Performances, are there are ticket fees for those, but uh, dress rehearsals are free. Um, you could also come to a workshop. We organize workshops for high schools. Um, and if you're interested in doing any of those or even just chatting with someone a bit more about the music program, our contact information is at the bottom. Uh, you could send me an email. I'm the International Improvement Officer. Or you could contact Jennifer. She takes care of our undergraduate admissions uh, and recruitment. So uh, that's it for me. I'm going to pass it over to Ingrid and she can talk to you a bit about engineering. Thank you very much.